So now it's five minutes to one, and Dewey just arrived in the office. All right, so we see Dewey in the operatory. I'm not going to talk about taking the history, and I'm not going to talk about the soft tissue exams. Okay, so we already did that part, but what I want to concentrate on in this video is entering the treatment quickly and efficiently and getting all the information in there. I also want to show how to do alternative treatment plans. You know, always give people choices, all of them yours. So let's do some alternative treatment plans as well. First thing I do with an exam is go in and take out the missing teeth. Poor Dewey, he's missing some pretty important teeth here. So I just highlight the teeth, I just drag the mouse over them and go here and click on missing. If you want to enter existing restorations, which I don't because I do clinical photographs, but if you do, did, you would go down here to existing other, and let's just say that these two teeth uh, have M-O-D amalgams. Where's my amalgam? Okay. I suggest you don't use these click boxes over here, these quick buttons. I think for a lot of things, particularly for fillings, they're inefficient. So I have these guys marked frequent right there, and there's the amalgam, okay? These are procedures customized by your office that you do very frequently. So I don't do amalgams, but I see a lot of amalgams walking around in my new patients. So I put those in as existing restorations. You want to go back now because we're going to do the treatment plan. Make sure you click on the right button here. But if you made a mistake, it's okay. You can go into that procedure right here. And rather than have existing other, I meant to put this in as a restoration I wanted to do. So I can change it right here. I can change the status. I'm not going to do that, but just to make the point. All right, so now let's put in some treatment for Dewey. I went around, I took out the missing teeth. Uh, I'm going to look at these and these ratty old amalgams, and I'm going to say, let's do a crown on those, and let's do an all porcelain crown. Now, again, I'm on my TDC frequent today's dental consulting. These may be called different things, but you should have a couple categories in here, which are very frequently used procedures in your office. If you don't do endo, don't put endo in here, and you can have things in more than one category. So here's endo down here at the bottom of the list, because I don't do endo. You do a lot of endo, I'd put those procedures up here. And again, the procedures can appear in more than one category. So I said, all right, I want to do crowns on those two teeth. There we go, I'm going to do all porcelain crowns. And not only did it put in the crown with the correct code, but it also put in the cementation for that crown. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do MO composites on those two teeth. Now, when you're putting in fillings, you put in the tooth, you put in the surfaces, let's do a great big one here, M-O-D-L, okay? Pick the tooth, pick the surface, pick the material. In this case, a composite, okay? So don't mess around with these guys. I've taken them all out of there. I have a few things that we use frequently. Now, the difference between these and these is that these can only be one procedure. In other words, if I click on that, I get the pano. If I click on that, I get the four bite wings. These procedures, anything else down here in the list, can be multiple procedures. So let's say I decide I do want to do an endo on number 28. I'm going to do an endo and a crown. So I'm going to go down here to my endo. I can do an endo porcelain, I'm sorry, endo post and crown, all in one. I click on that. It puts all the correct codes in, and it knows that that's a bicuspid and put the correct code in there for the bicuspid. So Open Dental is pretty smart about these things. Now, most of the time, I don't do the endo. I would send that out, but I might do the crown and a buildup. So let's do a crown and a buildup on tooth number 30 here. And again, b multiple procedures uh, can be created with just a single click. There we go. So I've got my buildup, I've got my crown, and I've got the seat all with one click. So the advantage of doing things down here is you can have multiple procedures with just one click. These things are just a single procedure. So again, not, not good for fillings just because fillings are single procedures, but it's complicated. Where'd that MOD go in here? I'm trying to find where that MOD was. Much easier just to use this. Pick the tooth, pick the uh, surfaces, pick the material. 
Okay, so now we've got some treatment in here for Donald, and that was pretty easy to put that in and pretty fast. And if we look over in our treatment plan, there we are, there's all that treatment that we put in there. Now Donald, if you remember, had insurance. And we didn't get that in ahead of time. We got it when he got to the office, but we don't have the insurance in here yet. The front desk is working on that. Now, if Donald fills out, filled out his forms correctly, we should have that information ahead of time. But in this case, we'll say something was missing and we couldn't get eligibility and benefits before he walked in. Not a big problem because it's very quick and easy to do, but I don't have it in there when I'm creating the treatment plan. So keep that in mind for a minute. Let's go back to the chart, and I want to give Donald some alternatives. So he's walking around with a couple stay plates here, and he's not too crazy about it. This is treatment that I've put in so far that Donald really needs to have done right now. Okay, he's got a stay plate. Okay, this is going to be more optional treatment. This would be better, uh, obviously, with a fixed bridge, uh, but he needs to get these other things taken care of. They're more urgent. I can name my treatment plans anything that I want. So if I go back to treatment plans and double click on this, the default is active treatment plan, but I can call this urgent. Okay, I can name a treatment plan anything that I want. The other thing to be aware of is you have only one active treatment plan. I'm gonna show you inactive treatment plans in just a second but you can only have one active treatment plan. You can have as many saved treatment plans as you want, and we want to be sure and save the treatment plans here in a few minutes. So let's go back to the chart, and let me show you this magic button right here that says treatment plans. So if I click on this, it changes the chart view in here. Now I still got my priorities over here, which I also had in treatment plan. But this is an easier place to work on alternative treatment plans. So I want to put an alternative treatment plan in here for Donald that includes those bridges. Or maybe let's just include this one because the lower stay plate is not as bothersome as the upper stay plate. I'm going to go right here and create a new treatment plan. Now I can create a new treatment plan in treatment plan over here too, but it's just easier to work with it here in chart. So I click this magic button, I go new treatment plan. Now it's gonna be labeled an inactive treatment plan because the other one was active. So let's just call this Now I'm going to include in here in this treatment plan his urgent treatment as well. So I'm just gonna add that to the title. Okay, again, you name it anything that you want and say okay. Now I have this treatment plan selected. You know, it's when I looked at this one, it drew all the treatment plan restorations in there for me. Here, I don't have any in there, but I'm going to put some in right now. I'm going to drag across these teeth, just like that. I'm going to go down here to bridges, and I'm going to do an all porcelain bridge right here. Okay, by clicking on that, it put in the correct procedures. Okay, it knows the difference between a retainer and a ponic all automatically. And it also put in the seat for me. So that's part of this treatment plan. Now, I said I wanted to include the urgent treatment plan in there as well. I only have that bridge in this treatment plan. Here's my other urgent treatment plan. I don't have to re-enter these things. I can double click on this. And now here's all that other treatment that I can put in there. In this case, it's real easy because I want to add all the urgent treatment. So I can just highlight everything and say, add that to this treatment plan. Now, it didn't really take it away over here. Okay, it's still there. Okay, but let's go back now and look at our treatment plans. So here's the urgent treatment plan. Okay, no bridges. Here's the bridge plus the urgent. Okay, and got all those procedures and anything that you select here is going to show up on the tooth chart. But again, this is an inactive treatment plan. Okay, it's only have one active treatment plan, but I can switch back and forth between them. Let's do one more thing. Let's do 
the best treatment for Donald. So I'm going to create another new treatment plan. Okay, and I'm going to call this, let's call it ideal. So now I have three treatment plans. This doesn't have anything in it yet. But one of the things that we want to put in there is this bridge. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. All porcelain bridge this time. There we go. Write codes in there. So now I have three treatment plans in there. Uh, but I want to add this treatment to this treatment plan. I'm going to do it just like we did before. Double click there. I'm going to highlight everything over here. And add it to that treatment plan. And say OK. OK. So now I've got, here's urgent. This is what you really need to do, Donald, right now. Um, here's the urgent plus that upper front bridge. And here's ideal treatment with everything in there. Okay, so now I've got three different treatment plans that I created pretty easily and pretty fast. And I can move things around in here. I don't have to re-enter things. Let's go back now into the treatment plan module. And here's my three different treatment plans in here. Okay, so the urgent one, Donald, your amount would be 9185 If we did the urgent plus the bridge, it goes up to seventeen, eighteen thousand $18,000. And for ideal treatment, it goes up to 26000 Okay, which would you like to do? And Donald says, well, how about my insurance? They probably put that in by now, didn't they? Yeah, good point, Donald. Let's go see about your insurance. So I'm going to add insurance for Donald. He is a subscriber. Um, it needs a subscriber number or... A social over here so I'm going to put that in so he's 180 50 and let's put in well Donald's got really good insurance so we'll give him a five thousand uh, dollar max there and no deductible just to make things easier okay and that's <clears throat> also because this is a Delta plan we have to put in the Delta fee schedule Okay, now I might happen to know that my insurance, too, was a Delta insurance uh, fee schedule. So I can click on that. Okay, we want to make sure we have category percentage. We don't want to use PPO percentage. We want to use category percentage. And we want to use this insurance fee schedule, which is our Delta fee schedule. So now I'm going to say, okay, I added this now after I added all that treatment. When I go back and look at the treatment plan, there's still no insurance in there. So I always have to go up here and update the fees right there. And there, now we've got the insurance information in there. One last thing. Donald's sitting here thinking about this. Uh, one last thing we always want to do is save these treatment plans. And that's really easy to do. Now, an inactive or an active treatment plan can change. You noticed when I updated the fees that they all changed in here. A save treatment plan does not change. Okay, save treatment plan is static in here. That's a record of what you presented to Donald. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm just going to click on the save treatment plan. And it's going to save it with the same name. And I can save inactive treatment plans. Okay, so now let's go to this one. So now I've got three saved treatment plans in there. Now I can click on my payment options up here. So when the payment options opens, it gives me the choice of any saved treatment plan. I'll just do urgent because urgent selected over there and say select. It pulls the information in. It pulls the numbers in. It pulls the patient's name in. It pulls the name of the treatment plan and the date. And then you can go over here and decide what kind of payment options you want to give Donald. So let's say we're going to do 18 months with care credit or one of the other uh, outside financial services uh, and I'm going to give him 10% if he pays everything up front click on that and it does all the math for you there's the 18 there's the discount and so forth say well you know what this is a this is not that big a treatment plan I'm think I'm only going to go with 12 months okay go look at this again does the math for you okay very quick very fast has that description up there 
So now very quickly, you've entered not only the initial treatment, but also alternative treatment plans that you can present to Donald. We have an active treatment plan and we have two inactive treatment plans, but we have three saved treatment plans in here. So we have a record of what we talked to Donald about. We also did our payment options here, so we told Donald how he could pay for that. So Donald's been thinking about his three different options here. Um, and he said, you know what, I, I want to do the ideal treatment. I'm going to go out and I know a bank I can rob and get that money. Um, and so let's, let's go forward with the ideal treatment. So what I'm going to do, remember this ideal treatment up here was an inactive treatment plan. An inactive treatment plan means when you go to schedule, the treatment on this plan is not going to show up. The only treatment that's going to show up is what's in the active treatment plan. I can only have one active treatment plan. I can have lots of inactive treatment plans, and I can have lots of saved treatment plans. But what I want to do is make this plan the active plan. And that's really easy. I double-click on it again and go right down here and make that the active plan. Okay? And now when I go to schedule it, I'm going to have all that treatment to choose from. You notice it also changed over here. And so Donald says, yep, I'm going to rob that bank. Um, let's do the ideal treatment. Let's make that the active treatment plan. And you can switch these things back and forth all you want. Okay. And now we're ready to finish our financial arrangements with Donald and to schedule his treatment. So practice, 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 whether you practice on Dewey Duck or Donald Duck, and get comfortable doing these different things so you can do them very quickly and will make a big difference to the efficiency of the office.